Dave Ramsey says you can make a 12% annual return in the stock market and take an 8% withdrawal rate in retirement and still have plenty of money to last through life expectancy. In today's video, I'll show you why this position doesn't hold up to mathematical scrutiny. Now, I'm not the only one who thinks that Dave Ramsey's living in a fantasy world when he thinks these kinds of stratospheric distribution rates are sustainable in retirement. A group of fiduciary advisors recently confronted Dave Ramsey on Twitter, telling him that what he was recommending was unsupported by academic or historical data. Dave Ramsey, of course, was caught flat-footed by this critique and did what he traditionally does when he gets backed into a corner. He lashed out. He said that he can help more people in 10 minutes than those fiduciary advisors can help in their entire lives. Furthermore, they're all snobs because they don't support regular people. Dave Ramsey's position on sustainable withdrawal rates in retirement seems to be confirmed in this recent episode on his YouTube channel. Take a listen to what he had to say. If the money is invested in good mutual funds and it's making, you know, average market returns of 11%, 12%, why can you only take out 4%? Uh, just fear, I think, is the main reason people do no, it. Why Inflation? would the financial advisor say that? He gets more money? Is that how that works? Possibly. Or possibly he is a, a financial planning limbing. You know what a limbing Ooh. is? That's an old school word. Uh, th these are small rats that run in herds and follow each other over cliffs. That is the funniest One way I've heard to describe financial advisors. And so, if, meaning you go along with the crowd. You go along with the crowd. You go along with the crowd. And you don't even ask why. You just go along with the crowd. And so you don't want to be sheeple. So here's the thing. That is a standard thing in financial planning, 4%. Because after inflation and after poor rates of return on the portfolio, you're still going to be okay at 4%. But by God, 5%, you're going to sink it. You know, which is completely asinine. This is ridiculous. They're going so ultra obviously, conservative here. Steve, you are smarter than your financial advisor because you have more money than he does. And you've done a better job than he has. So you can kind of tell him what to do with your money. Be real comfortable doing that. And, dude, if you want to pull out 6%, it's okay with me. I think you're going to be okay. If you want to pull out 10%, you're not going to destroy the portfolio. Okay, so here Dave Ramsey says that if you're getting 12% returns year over year, you should realistically be able to withdraw 6%, 8%, shoot, even 10% of your assets per year and never run out of money. And if a financial advisor tells you that you should constrain yourself to 4%, then they're dishonest, greedy, or a financial planning lemming. And if, by the way, you have more money than your financial advisor, then you are more qualified to give him financial advice than he is to give it to you. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks here. Where does Dave Ramsey get his 12% average rate of return from? Because that's what's informing his 8% distribution rate. Well, essentially what he's done is he's taken data from Morningstar and Ibbotson Associates that say that the S&P 500 has earned 11.8% on average since 1926. Well, it's no wonder that Dave Ramsey recommends that you stay 100% invested in stocks your entire lifetime, even deep into retirement. It's because you'll be getting 11.8% each and every year, right? But there's a problem, of course, with this approach. It doesn't account for investment volatility. In other words, just because you average 11.8% per year, if that's even possible, doesn't mean that you'll be getting precisely that result each and every year. And as it turns out, the order in which you experience returns in retirement is one of the biggest keys in determining whether your retirement assets will last through life expectancy. To illustrate the dangers of investment volatility in retirement, allow me to make the following comparison. Let's assume you needed to live on $165,000 per year and you felt like there was some magical investment out there that could give you a consistent 8.1% return every single year of retirement. We know that no such investment exists, but for comparison's sake, let's just say it does. According to this chart, if this investor could withdraw that $165,000 per year for 19 years, he'd still have $5.7 million left over at the end. However, we know that that's not how rates of return are experienced in the real world. That 8.1% average rate of return consists of huge gains in some years and huge losses in other years. And those dramatic swings are the reason why reams of academic data say you should never take more than 4% of your day one retirement balance adjusted for inflation in retirement. Take a look at this second chart to see what I mean. This particular investor averaged 8.1% over that same 19 year time frame, but he experienced massive volatility along the way in order to do so. 
Take a look at the impact of those same $165,000 distributions when we factor in normal market volatility. By the end of the 19th year, he only had $71,000 left over, not $5.7 million. Folks, this is why economists and financial experts in academia are so opposed to willy-nilly haphazard approaches to sustainable distribution rates in retirement. Because unduly high withdrawal rates can easily bankrupt you years in advance of life expectancy, as I just demonstrated. And at that point, you'll have to eke out an existence subsisting on Social Security alone. Wade Fow, a PhD out of Princeton, is one of the foremost experts in the world when it comes to sustainable withdrawal rates in retirement. And he took issue with Dave Ramsey's insistence Assistance on 8% withdrawal rates. He even wrote an article entitled Debunking the Myth of the 8% Return. In a different article entitled Dave Ramsey's 8% Withdrawal Rate, he provides a chart that shows the likelihood of having your money last through life expectancy if you follow Dave Ramsey's advice of a 100% stock portfolio and 8% withdrawal rates. In the highlighted section of the chart, Dr. Fow shows precisely that. Even if you were only planning on living 15 years in retirement, you'd only have a 74% chance that your money would last until you died. Most people who retire at age 65, however, need their money to last a full 30 years. If you kept your money fully invested in stocks and continue to take those 8% withdrawal rates through that full 30-year life expectancy, your success rate drops all the way down to 37%. That means you have a roughly two and three chance of running out of money within that 30-year time frame. So why exactly does Dave Ramsey take this position if it isn't supported by the data? Here I'll say what I've always said. Dave Ramsey is a one-size-fits-all, paint-by-the-numbers, general dispenser of financial planning advice. And as such, he can't be an expert in all things. He has neither the time nor the resources to do so. And when he says things like, take a 100% position in the stock market for the rest of your life and take 8% annual distributions along the way, he reveals a naivete about investing that sets his listeners up for financial calamity in retirement. And when you call him out on it, his only way to respond is to call you a lemming or a hater. I myself at times have been criticized for calling out Dave Ramsey in a number of areas. I've been told that Dave Ramsey has helped millions of people, therefore he is beyond reproach. Now I will agree that Dave Ramsey has helped millions of Americans who are mired down in debt, but that certainly doesn't make him the last word when it comes to sustainable rates of distribution in retirement. If you would like to adopt a balanced, comprehensive approach to tax-free retirement that shields you from the impact of higher taxes down the road, head on over to DaveMcKnight.com and click on the Connect with an Advisor button. I'm happy to refer you to an advisor in the Power Zero network that has been trained, vetted, and qualified personally by me. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them into the comment section below. I respond to every single one of them personally. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the bell so you never miss a video. This is David McKnight. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.